Hello, everybody. Welcome to our workshop here at the Things Network virtual conference. Before we get started, I would just like to give a big thank you to everybody at the Things Industries, to Johan and Winky and Lawrence for organizing this outstanding event. I hope everyone's you know staying safe, staying healthy during these during these uncertain times. But it's great that we can stay engaged about about Laura Wan, about our applications. So thank you to the Things Industries for organizing this event and, and keeping everybody engaged and informed. I think, I think this is a great opportunity for everybody. So with that being said, I'd first like to introduce myself. My name is Jack Stewart and I am the Marketing Director at Tech Telecommunications uh, based in, in Canada. Um, I'm going to be conducting this workshop along with my colleague Akash Panchal. Akash is an engineer at Tech Telec. And really the theme of this workshop is simply to walk you through the step-by-step -step process of connecting a Tectelic micro light gateway and smart room sensor to the Things Enterprise stack. So I'm gonna introduce the, the products to you a little bit first, and then Akash will take you through that step-by-step -step process. All right, so before we get started, um, many of you are familiar with Tectelic. Maybe you've seen us at a previous TTN conference, or maybe you're a, a client of ours already or one of our partners. So welcome to everybody who's here. Um, but for those of you who aren't familiar with Tectelic, um, Tectelic has a, a very comprehensive portfolio of gateways and devices, specifically utilizing the LoRaWAN technology. Um, really, whatever sort of deployment environment our customers are deploying in, whatever sort of vertical market or application they're using. Tectelic has a, a total low cost of ownership solution, an end-to-end -end solution for, for all of our customers' unique um, deployments and needs and applications. Today, during this workshop, we're going to be focusing on two specific products. So the Kona Micro Light Gateway and the Smart Room Sensor. I actually have the products here with me. Here's the gateway. I've got a few of the sensors here. So we'll be going through these in a little bit more detail and then we'll show you how to connect these to the Things Enterprise stack. So to get started, the Kona Micro Light Gateway. This is a very simple, very plug and play gateway that has been designed to help our customers get up and running on LoRaWAN very quickly and very easily. It's an eight channel gateway. It's available in virtually all uh, global ISM bands. We have a few of them listed on the side here, but um, we have customers deploying these products around the globe today. As I mentioned, it's it's been designed for plug and play operability. It runs on a free RTOS operating system. So it's really been designed so that you can, you know, get up and running right away. Uh, if you have any sort of configurations that you need to do, any sort of manipulation that you need to do to the gateway to integrate it into your solution, it's very easy to do that with the micro light gateway. Um, it's extremely compact, you know, it's, it's very small. Um, it can be deployed virtually anywhere in an indoor environment. It has, of course, Ethernet backhaul. It's the primary means of backhaul for the device. As with all of Tectelic gateways, we pride ourselves on delivering superior RF performance from our gateways. And of course, the, the MicroLite fits, fits this description as well. So we take pride in being able to, you know, deploy this in a eight to 10 story building and be able to cover, you know, all the floors um, easily with LoRaWAN coverage. So that's something we pride ourselves in, in being able to do with this device. It's of course an indoor gateway. And like I mentioned, it's it's really been designed to provide a solution for a very low total cost of ownership. And most importantly, the reason why we're here at this workshop today, uh, the, the micro light gateway is, of course, fully integrated with the Things Enterprise stack. And you will see later how, how to connect it and how to get going. All right, so moving on to the devices, this is our smart room sensor got a couple different variants of it here for you um, this device truly is one of the most versatile LoRaWAN end devices on the market today 
It was designed for the smart building vertical and it's a, a very comprehensive product that can deliver information about a whole bunch of different events that could be happening in your indoor environment. Um, and of course, delivering that through LoRaWAN into your network. So the device has an accelerometer to measure, you know, if something's moving, if a drawer is opening or closing, it has uh, impact detection to see the strength of that movement. Uh, we have a variant here with passive infrared motion detection to tell you if, if a room is occupied. We also have various masking options available for that motion detection so that you can um, determine if, based on the size of the room, so if it's a large boardroom, maybe it's a narrow hallway, um, determine whether or not those, those spaces are occupied. We also has a, have a desk presence mask, so you could place it underneath the desk and tell you if that specific spot in the desk is occupied. It has an external magnetic read switch. So if you're to mount the device on a window or a door, for example, you could tell if the window or door was opened or closed, of course. We also have uh, a spot for an external connection. So if you had sort of any sort of probes, maybe your, maybe your contact probes, maybe their moisture leak detection probes, you can connect it in and have that flow through LoRaWAN into your network. Um, it also has light detection, so you can tell simply if the lights are on or off in the room where the device is deployed. It's got uh, s simple things like temperature, humidity, of course. Um, one, one other cool feature that it has is moisture leak detection right on the device itself. So if you have the device sitting on a surface and that surface were to get wet, maybe it's sitting under a sink or on, under a hot water tank or something like that. Um, the device is actually capable through capacitance-based leak detection of detecting that moisture and of course sending it, sending a packet, sending an alert that a moisture uh, event has taken place. Alright, so that's a little bit about the devices that we're going to be connecting to the Things Enterprise stack today. As I mentioned, my colleague Akash will take you through this step-by-step -step process. Um, and then at the end, uh, of course, if you have any questions or, or anything that you would like to ask us, if you're having any, any troubles or just general questions about Tectelic, we'll be, we'll be happy to, to answer those as well. So thank you very much, and I'm going to pass it over to Akash. First step in commissioning Tiktaalik uh, gateways and sensor on TTN network server would be logging into your TTN user, uh, account. So once you're logging into that, you can click on console option. Uh, uh, after clicking on console, click on gateways to add gateway. Click on register gateway option to add gateway. Add 16 digit I gateway ID appearing uh, on the back side of the gateway. There will be a label uh, and you can see the gateway ID there. Click on I am using legacy packet forwarder. You can add some description what kind of gateway is that. You can choose a frequency plan. This is North American gateway, so I have used United States 915 megahertz. Click on register. Once you have registered the gateway and you powered up the gateway, you would be able to see the gateway status as connected. You can add more details about the gateway, such as the manufacturer or brand of the gateway and what kind of gateway is that. You can select this, uh, you can add these details. Once you have added the gateway, you can click on applications to create an application in which you can add sensors. So I have created an application with an application ID of TTN Virtual Conference Kona Sensor. Later I will add some description uh, about this particular application which would be Kona Smart Room Sensor because I'm adding Kona Smart Room Sensor and I will just click on I will click on TTN US West because this sensor is also uh, a North American one. Once you do that click on application EUIs so and click on add add EUI because Tiktaalik ships a uh, sensor with uh, app EUI, dev EUI and uh, uh, app key. So I have added the app EUI, click on devices. Uh, once you click on devices, click on register device and device ID, enter uh, any name identifier uh, that can be useful to identify a particular sensor. I have added Kona Smart Room Sensor 01 uh, Dev UI would be uh, available in the spreadsheet that is sent by Tiktaalik to you. You can click on option and edit. 
and in the in terms of app key as well you can get it from Titalic. Uh, click on copy paste from the spreadsheet and click on the app UI that we just added and as soon as you power up the sensor and wait for a few seconds you should be able to see the sensor coming up online all right well thank you very much Akash I hope everybody found that demonstration useful and beneficial um, if you do have any questions about the process of connecting the micro light gateway or smart room sensor to the things enterprise stack or if you have any questions about Tectelic in general, we will be on the line for a while to answer any of those questions. Um, additionally, you can always visit our website, www.tectelic.com. Feel free to send us an email, info at tectelic.com, and we will be happy to answer any inquiries that you may have. So once again, thank you everybody for, for joining this workshop. Another big thank you to the Things Industries for um, organizing this this outstanding event. Um, we're we're very proud to be a part of it, and we're we're happy to be driving driving LoRaWAN, driving interest in in this technology, and um, you know even learning about all the different applications and different types of deployments that our partners and customers are are utilizing this technology for. That's always a great experience. So. Thank you, everybody. Uh, we'll talk to you soon, and that's all for us.